It is not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent. It's the one most adaptable to change. Hello everyone, I'm Tim. Precept 13 and Precept 14 are closely related, as you will realize when you've watched the next video as well. This is why this video won't be too long and has nothing to do with me running out of ideas. Anyway, 13 states make adjustments according to your opponent. There's no hidden meaning here. In combat, but also in any type of exchange between two or more parties, it's important to be able to adapt to whatever the other side throws at you. It reminds me of... Wait a minute. I know I have it around here somewhere. I haven't seen it in a while. If only I had arranged these alphabetically. Here it is. Charles Darwin's The Origin of Species. You might have heard of this quote. It is not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent. It's the one most adaptable to change. Although it was not said by Darwin himself, it was strongly based on Darwin's work. The quote itself is by Professor Leon C. Meganson. The full quote is this. According to Darwin's The Origin of Species, it is not the most intellectual of the species that survives, it is not the strongest that survives, but the species that survives is the one that is able to best adapt and adjust to the changing environment in which it finds itself. Now, I'm not sure whether Funakoshi read this book or whether a survival in martial arts and in nature just need to follow the same principles, But the precept is exactly what it says. It tells you to adapt to the unexpected. So unless you are technically superior to your opponent and can dictate the fight, you need to remain flexible and adapt to the individual opponents. And even if you are technically superior, you still need to be able to make adjustments according to your opponent. If you like what you see here and you want to see more, click right here to see more. For now, let me wish you a wonderful day and as always, thanks for watching. There is no theory of evolution, just a list of creatures Chuck Norris has allowed to live.